Ooh, what do you guys see? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Yeah. So Pearl opened the vlog for you. And uh, I just had them out for a nice big walk. It's now starting to get light outside. And uh, Mama Candy just gave her her toast and coffee in bed when she's reading. Um, and yeah, we will be heading out shortly to uh, check out Service Ontario. And uh, we have to get uh, I have to get my O hip because I've got to go to the doctor tomorrow. <laughs> and um, hopefully we get that today. And then also our driver's license. Hopefully we can get that as well today. So that is on the agenda for this morning. And um, yeah, we'll catch you up as as the day goes on. What are you three doing? I'm trying to do some work over here, and then these three are over here grumbling, grumbly, grumbly, some talking and whining. What do you see down there? What's out there? You see anything out there? They often will see uh, puppy dogs running around out there or walking around out there. They think they own the neighborhood and uh, they like to grumble at everything. They grumble, talk, whatever. They're very talkative dogs these guys. They, um, they whine a lot and when I looked it up of what the whining means, when, especially when we're walking, other dogs are coming by us. Um, they're very friendly, they like other dogs, but they whine and it can either be a submissive thing or it's just they're very, very social dogs and uh, it's their greeting. It's kind of weird, but um, still learning a lot with these Havanese. But yes, that's what they're doing. And of course, they're not saying anything right now because they got the camera on them. Hey guys. Yes. Let's go see Mama. Go see Mama. Come on, go see Mama. You coming? You going? Okay. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Pearl oh. already opened it. That means there's like only 10 days to Denise's birthday. Pearl already opened the vlog. Oh, is it Pearl in something? Her, in her tone. Do you like her new hairdo? Yes, I'm showing the hairdos. So yes, I'm going to get up and we are going to do attempt number two at the driver's license thing. And then, if we still have it within us, we're going to the Mac store because I'm getting Denise a laptop for her birthday. And I'm just wondering which line is going to be crazier. But... <laughs> We're going to do it. I'm just reading right now. The Mistletoe Inn. Aww. You'll see a review on it soon in my Christmas books. You know, I always like to read saccharine books at the holidays. Yep. To be continued. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> Kat Von D color of the day. Adora. Now, this lipstick came out when she first had her Painted Love lipstick. Uh, and then she, if you recall, painted love lipsticks looked like this. And none of them were had this foil finish. Then she came up with one called Adora, which had this foil finish. And then she created these, what she called foiled love. Um, and put Adora in that packaging. Now Adora is in the studded kiss packaging. And I also have it in her liquid lipstick. Now, I haven't read it. I've waited for you. She said she wanted it to look like a bow, like a gift, you know, and your lips are the big red bow on top. See, it's a really beautiful, kind of a very unique red. Let's read what it says. Although, I don't think it'll stay on my lips very long because I can't stop my nose from running. Adora. Latin for beloved one. Oh, is that? <laughs> that's it. Ah, so that's interesting because every one of them has a big write up. Except that one just says. Interesting. Okay. But again, I remember because that lipstick came out around the same time as Poetica perfume and that whole Poetica look. And she was talking about wanting the lips to look like a bow in the present. So. Hmm from me to you. Okay, so I called yesterday and explained the frig up we had the first time and they said, yes, you can go to Shepherd or Bay Street. Bay Street is the busiest location in all of Eastern Canada. So if you have a car, he said, I recommend you go to Shepherd. 
Uh, okay, so we look up the address. We get the address. We get out here. There's three long strip buildings that all have the exact same address. They hide their service things. So we get out here, and he's like, oh, yeah, you can take a ticket and sit down. It's not one of the ones we have to wait. Look at the size of it. So we are going in now, and we are going to find out. To be continued. Go to Shepherd Avenue, they said. Shepherd Avenue, we did. Can't get either thing here. Can't get Denise's health card. Can't get our driver's license. Oh no, you gotta go to Shepherd and Young for your health card and Shepherd and Downsview Avenue for the license. Not that buddy that I spoke to for half an hour on the phone yesterday told me that there were three different places out here. So, fuck. Here we go. So now we're at 37, which is the number they give us. And you can see how well marked this is, that it's a service Nova Scotia place. Not. Thirty-nine's a nursery school, that is thirty-seven. And yet... <laughs> I'm gonna say... Ah! Okay. I can't even be mad anymore because now it just becomes such a comedy of errors. So you see this abandoned looking friggin' building? Yeah, unknown to us, we had to drive around to the back of that, <clears throat> which looks like a great place to do a drug deal. There was nothing that said province of Ontario. And then we saw this little private sign that said drive test. So then we find out that drive test is a private company that the province of Ontario has contracted out to, to do this stuff. So we go in. There are those little things to press and take a button, except every single one of them says, do not touch. The screen says touch here. There's a, 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 a sign taped on, do not touch. So then this little woman comes over and says, you know, what are you here for? We tell her, do you have your passport? Well, no, I don't, I'm not flying to Paris for fuck's sakes. I'm trying to get my Nova Scotia license turned into an Ontario license. Well, what do you have for ID? Well, I've got my status card, which comically enough, um, a card issued by the federal government, a picture ID, it's probably the hardest ID to get in the country. You practically have to do a retinal scan when they have to renew it. Um, when I went to vote, I used it, and buddy goes, buddy who, um, it was just funny, it was a young guy, and he goes, is that Canadian? <laughs> I said, mister, that's as Canadian as it gets. So anyway, I said, I've got my status card, so I'm like, just waiting for her to say that's not going to be good enough, because I can get into the United States with that thing. So she says, yeah, it's fine. So we get our things, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, the buzzer goes, I get my appointment, right, I have my thing, I go up. She puts me through an eye test, but thankfully that went okay. Because when I got my license, I wore glasses. Um, I wore glasses from the time I was five till I was 17, and then my eyes righted themselves. So I passed the eye test, no problem. Then she can't find my driving record from New Brunswick. So she's only got it from Nova Scotia. So she's got it like as if I only have been driving since 1992. I've been driving since 1983. So I'm going to see how that's going to affect insurance because then I might have to get back to New Brunswick. So unlike in Nova Scotia, you pay your 80 bucks, but you don't get your license right away. They keep your Nova Scotia license and give you a piece of paper that is a temporary license. And see, it's really important that we get the license because once you leave the province, you're technically only supposed to be insured for 30 days in, you know, from your insurance carrier in your old province. Because when I moved from New Brunswick to Nova Scotia, I didn't have insurance on anything. I didn't own a car. I didn't have content insurance. I didn't realize insurance isn't federal. It, so we pay our insurance all at once. So we paid all of our insurance in Nova Scotia. And no, now we have to get Ontario insurance. But they won't give us our Ontario insurance until we have an Ontario driver's license. So we got the, I got my driver's license and I asked her about getting a plate for the car. You can't get a plate for the car in Ontario until you have Ontario insurance. <laughs> but I couldn't get Ontario insurance until I had an Ontario driver's license. So I already know I got to go back for that. But I'm like, okay, whatever, Denise will get hers and we're going to go over to the other address they gave us where Denise has to get her health card because she couldn't get her health card in the first place we went because she was born here. I could. I never lived here. She was born here so they wouldn't give it to her. Who knows? Then she comes over to me 
they wouldn't give her her license. Denise is not native, so she does not have a status card. She does not have an up-to-date passport. The last time we traveled outside the country was to Cuba. It was ages ago, and her passport's expired. We were coming to Shepherd Avenue. I didn't know I'd need a passport to travel to Shepherd Avenue. All she has is her original birth certificate. Her original birth certificate from Ontario is paper. Now, my birth certificate from New Brunswick is a laminated card. I've had it my entire life. The lamination is a little bit funky around the edges, but it's fine. They issued it a thousand years ago, laminated. It's great. Denise's birth certificate from here in Ontario, the province we're currently in, the province she was born in, says right on the back, do not laminate. Denise is going to be 45 years old in a week. You can imagine carrying an unlaminated piece of paper in your wallet for 45 years. It got frayed. So on the front end of it, where it says Tompkins, you, the T is not visible anymore. They would not give her her license. She had her Nova Scotia license, a wallet full of ID. No, not without a passport or an up-to-date birth certificate. So now, and I'm sorry to ramble like this, but you have to know how, like, just how hilarious it is. Now we have to go home. I have to call the insurance company, see if I can get the insurance and add her later because our insurance company is freaking out because we've been here three months and we still don't have Ontario insurance. Denise has to figure out which is faster and which is cheaper, updating her passport or applying for a new birth certificate. And then we got to come back out here and do this all over again and then get the plate on top of that. Oh, holy shit. Wah, wah, wah. Ba, 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 ba. Put on my mountains and shit. <laughs> what are you saying? I know. I what just are you saying? Gotta, <clears throat> I've been opening some boxes. Some chapters boxes arrived today. I finally got this. I was a little disappointed. I thought they'd be more like actual book, but it's like it's like um, you know a lot of pictures and it's like little tips and tricks. I, I guess I just expected. There were just going to be more of her, um, I don't know, personal thoughts on things. Anyway, <laughs> what a day we had today. I'm so happy to now come to London and leave <laughs> Service Ontario behind. Is it the 7th? No, it's the 8th. Did I open the 7th? Yes, <gasps> you did. Somebody stole that day on me. Oh, look, I mean, is this the Queen's? Is this what this is? People in England? Is that? Life isn't perfect, but your nails... They can be. Oh, that's good. And it is... Oh, nice white oh, glitter. I'll say that's glittery. Can you see? I got it. It's Chalet Chic. Or Chick. Chick? Chic. She? Chalet Chic. Okay. But do you like how we both have... You hear Denise now every three minutes? I blow mine, but she snorts hers. Well, it's not that type of blow. It's post-nasal, she says. Oh, get off it. Get off it! <laughs> Where am I'm... I? I am telling you, Service Ontario is going to, like, cripple us. Just, please, get, I know, I promise I won't rant anymore, but get me your card. Get me your birth certificate oh, for a moment. No, you can't No, I won't show, she's like, oh, like, I'm going to show. Here, allow me to show you our credit oh. cards and our... <clears throat> now, I just want you to see... Go ahead. I just want you to see that what is missing... Okay, I'm going to cover everything, but... Here, wait. wait. <laughs> As everybody knows your name. Yes, they do. What is missing is a T. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Because it's an old and beat up card because she's 45. It's a T. Now, <clears throat> on this card is her date of birth, where she was born, um... And her full name, given and middle and last. So I guess the security that's being taken by not accepting this is making the assumption that Denise magically has found someone else's card whose name, I guess, is Denise Crystal Pompkins? Compkins? 
Zompkins. But just miraculously, Denise Tr Crystal Tompkins actually found that card and actually has the same birth date and actually has a wallet full of credit cards and identification with that name and that birth date on it. Because otherwise, how is that one letter missing on this card creating a situation where you could be stealing an identity? That's all I want to know. Right on it, babes. Oh, it's a big one. Let me guess. Oh, and it's another, light. Another. Can't be two powder poofs in one. Uh, Bat those lashes is what it says. Oh. Oh, isn't that cool? Eyelash curlers from the body shop. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Good for traveling. There you go. Oh, Hang yes. On. We gotta put our next piece of the puzzle in. Yes, as my my boobs were really hanging down. Oh, didn't get it. So oh. it's definitely not gonna say Ovaltine, people. Something G O. Still trying. Yeah, G O, and then. Huh. I know what it is. Do I you? I have a guess. Tell me the I guess. I have a very guess. I have a very good guess. Tell me the guess. Feel good. Feel good. Well, I can see feel up here and good down here, but what's here? Well, there's a logo. That's there. Feel so good. Feel... Okay, feel good is what I'm thinking. Okay. Those, that's my guess. Well, what's your guess so far? But if you actually read it somewhere or... Oh, yeah, don't tell Don't us. spoiler it. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh, you got oh. a box missing. Box missing. Box down. You didn't drink it. It's black tea. Hey, I saw in the comments that someone found a Starbucks advent that actually has multiple different things Read in that it. that as well. I wonder if that's that. just an American thing. Cherry Blossom. Ooh, is that it's black? A white tea. A white tea. You can have it if you like. You love your cherry blossom. Well, you love your white, though. I do. You have well, it. Well, we can share. I've uh, done it before. Cherry Blossom. Right on. Have that after dinner. Sorry, not much vlogging today. Uh, we vlogged. Lots of ranting! Uh, lots of ranting, lots of ranting off camera that you do not need to hear or see. Um, anyway, let's do Advent, let's do something pleasurable. Now that my heart rate has come down after a few hours of it being skyrocketed. Here we are. Uh, we're going for day eight today and I see it, I see it, I see it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, what is that? Looks like it might be a lamp post with some, uh, I would say a lamp post with some, uh, what would be garland decoration. Extra crinkle, as I promised today. And yes, I will build it and they will come. No, they won't come, but I'll put it onto this masterpiece. So here is what I built today is this little lamp. That's what came in Vlogmas Day 8. And I have it sit next to the dude with the cell phone on the bench. So there we are after eight days of Advent Lego. Very cool. So we're going to sign off. My hair is a little mess. I just was outside with the dogs. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, dogs up for the last piece. So we're going to say good night. Good night from the couch. Good night. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.